I'm not good with wigs, like at all. And I thought, hey, why not make one out of foam? So I'm gonna try to make Goku's hair. And my goal is just to beat this. Like, if I can do better than that, then. Hi. For the headpiece, I'm cutting the stencils into five millimeter foam. I'm using contact cement to glue the whole thing together. Also, that's not sweat, that's uh, mosquito spray, because those things, for some reason, just love me. And be patient with this, don't rush this, or else that skull is going to be super uneven. It's six pieces in total for the headpiece, so I'm gluing them together two by two. And here's all the stencils for the hair. And this is what they all look like separate. This is for this one, this is for this one, this is for these two, this is for these three, here's for this one. And here's the bangs. And the two small ones are gonna be used twice. The bangs are also gonna be made out of five millimeter foam. To make the bang, you're gonna trace the stencil, then you're gonna flip it over and trace it again. And you're gonna do that with all the bangs and the spiky hair. Then you're going to want to bevel the bigger side of each piece. I'm going to be using a Dremel to bevel all these pieces, but you can use a box cutter or an X-Acto knife or whatever you feel more comfortable with. And now I'm putting contact cement on the beveled edges. After waiting a few minutes for the contact cement to dry up, you can now slowly start putting them together. I didn't realize this, but I guess a mosquito was biting my arm the whole time. And I'm like, seriously, the one time I don't wear the spray? Really? Damn it. Why? Now I'm just paranoid checking myself, but I'm like, nope, gotta keep going. To get the underside of each spike, just take the beveled piece and place it on some paper and trace it, and then you'll get the outline of each spike. I'm only doing this for the back pieces, I'm not doing it for the bangs, because no one's going to see that anyway, but if you want to do it, then go for it. Before gluing in that third piece, uh, make sure it's evened on those sides, because if it's not, it's going to be very warpy, wobbly, uneven looking. So, bevel it if you have to. And right here I'm using the bevel to clean up the spikes. Uh, the third piece on some kind of came out a little bit bigger. So you can either use an X-Acto knife or whatever you're using to cut stuff with to do this. I'm using the Dremel. And this is why you want to use a respirator. This is just a small sample of the stuff that was on the floor. Uh, you don't want to be breathing that. 
Place the hair, just get a sharpie and start tracing the piece of hair onto the headpiece. I suggest getting a picture of Goku and seeing where all the hair pieces are and the spikes, the way they go, before you start gluing everything on. To seal the seams, I'm using foam clay. And this works like clay, so you add water, you need to move it around, but when it dries up, it turns into EVA foam. And if it becomes too hard to work with, just add more water. After leaving it for a day to dry out, I'm using the heat gun to seal all the foam. And now I'm coating the whole thing with Plasti Dip. I'm probably just gonna learn how to use wigs. All right, if you thought this passes content, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to keep seeing this sweet passable content, then make sure to subscribe. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see me make next, put it in the comment section. Except Kaneki's Mask, because that is something I already plan on doing. Or the Buster Sword. Or Dragon Slayer, because that for sure is... Oh.